It also makes you feel like you need to be lit, if you will, and listen to the type of music that everyone else is listening to in order to relate to everyone else. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're living outside of a box that no one can relate to. All you see is highlights that you expect your life to always be highlights that when times get boring, you think it's like the most depressing shit in the world and you become depressed and you become antisocial when you start doing drugs and killing cats and shit. <laughs> I hope that does I hope that's not the case. All right, friends, so let's talk about social media and why you should probably delete your social media. So I know how hard it is to basically think of life without Instagram, Facebook, Tinder. <laughs> but here's the thing. Have you noticed how much time you actually waste looking at your app? Okay, so there's actually a feature on your phone. You should check it out, but it actually shows you the amount of hours or minutes, days, weeks that you were actually logged into specific apps. One day on my day off, I actually looked at my average that I spent on Instagram and it averaged out like an hour and a half to two hours of just looking on Instagram, all right? And I didn't even post anything that day. I was literally just a consumer of content, other people's content, not even my own. Also, what I noticed was that while I was looking at other people's content, I felt a little inadequate with where my life was at. I'm following fitness accounts and I almost feel like I'm not as in shape as I should be because of the fitness accounts and what they're posting. I then follow success accounts and I feel like I'm not as successful as the guy next to his Lamborghini. You know what I mean? And then I follow other accounts where it shows people having fun traveling and I feel like I gotta go to work tonight. I'm not living the life that these guys are living. And it almost felt like I was inadequate in life and that my life was not as great as all these other people. All right, then I look at stories. I look at people's stories on Instagram and here they are drinking, having fun. And I'm like, hey, I'm not drinking or having fun. I'm at home taking care of my little boy. My little doggy, by the way, it's not an actual boy. I'm, I, I don't have a kid yet. Cross my fingers. <laughs> but yes, I do not have a kid yet. I am able to go out party and all that kind of stuff. But watching these videos, watching these stories, watching these accounts, it makes me feel like I should be. I should be doing these things that I am seeing or else my life again is dull and boring. So if you are socially aware, mentally aware, and you're just basically, well, I guess you could say just aware, then you can tell that what we are consuming through visual stimuli, whatever we're looking at through our apps, through our phone, in other words, social media, we are slowly comparing ourselves to the highlights of other people. All right, and what that does is that it makes us almost depressed. It makes us feel like we need to do that. We need to be that. And if we are not that, then we are not enough. We just basically compare ourselves and where we are at at that moment to the highlights of other people. And what we need to realize is that social media is literally just highlights. Okay, it is not the average of a person's life. So what I'm saying is that, you know, you're following the celebrity, they're showing the party life and how great their life is, but that's not their life 24 seven. Neither is yours. Your life is not the highlights of every moment. Does that make sense? So here I am on my day off and I'm looking at all this content, looking at other people and their highlights of their life. And again, it is, I just compare myself to them. I compare where they are at in life, what they are doing, and it makes me feel like the significance and authenticity of the life that I'm living is no longer valuable anymore. It makes me feel like I need to follow a specific guideline of life. It makes me feel like I need to follow the blueprint of what everyone else is doing in order to reach happiness, in order to be happy. It makes you feel like you need to have the coolest gadget to, well, be cool, to fit in. You need to have the newest iPhone to feel like you're not poor. It makes you feel like you need to vape in order to fit in with people your age. It also makes you feel like you need to be lit, if you will, and listen to the type of music that everyone else is listening to in order to relate to everyone else. Otherwise, you're gonna feel like you're living outside of a box that no one can relate to. If this is hitting a home run to any of you guys, then let me know because I know that I, I, shit. I know you guys relate to this. I know you guys feel what I'm saying. So feel it, will you? Just feel it. Just feel what I'm saying, guys, and just 
be aware of this thing, all right? Be aware of this thing of how social media can cause depression. Again, it is because by consuming social media, we subconsciously compare ourselves to whatever highlight we are seeing at that moment. Think of yourself on social media, right? When you post something, it's obviously a highlight of your day, a highlight of your moment that you're experiencing, all right? It's not gonna be depressing moments, boring moments. So if you think of it that way, Instagram or even Facebook, it's purely highlights of someone else's day, someone else's life. And that's that becomes the, that kind of makes you feel like the normal of what life should be should always be a highlight. But life isn't that. Life isn't always a highlight. And in order for us to experience happiness, you need to experience downs. By living a boring life, can you experience the highlights of life? All right? And if you're looking on Instagram all day, for hours a day, all you see is highlights that you expect your life to always be highlights. That when times get boring, you think it's like the most depressing shit in the world. And you become depressed and you become antisocial when you start doing drugs and killing cats and shit. <laughs> I hope that does I hope that's not the case. But that's basically what I want to get at with this video. I just want to let you guys to be aware. You know what I'm saying? That when you are on Instagram, don't feel like you need to be in that type of lifestyle that everyone else is living. All right? Treasure the life that you have now. If you feel like you need to better yourself, all right? Better yourself because you're following success accounts, mindset accounts, and you feel like you need to hustle, all right? To reach a specific a specific status or a specific standard that you set on yourself, then by all means hustle. All right? Hustle, find worth in yourself by doing action. But if you're looking on Instagram and you notice yourself feeling depressed or feeling like your life is boring, then realize that the only reason you feel like that is because you're comparing yourself, all right? You're comparing your life to highlights of other people's lives. When no one should be living someone else's life, your life is authentic in itself. Your life has its own story. All right, you don't have to follow anyone else's story. Cinderella is not comparing herself to Snow White. Mulan is not comparing herself to the Kardashians. You know what I'm saying? Your life is beautiful and authentic and it has its own story and authenticity in itself. This is just basically a rant. Sorry for the airplane in the background. I'm recording right next to a window so you can hear all the outside hubity hubla that's well outside all in all i hope you guys got something from this video case in point live your life your life is special and beautiful regardless of whatever pain circumstances you're going through it is just the boring moment in life that you're going through happiness is always uphill from here hey that's my slogan that's that's what i've been saying lately Hope you guys caught that. If you guys have been watching my videos, I've been saying that lately. Well guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys got something from this video. Comment down below if you agree that social media is just bullshit sometimes, man. Just don't compare yourself to it. I feel like I'm gonna make another video to continue on from what I'm saying here. And I think it's a great topic to talk about. I know you guys can relate. Comment down below what you guys think. If you guys can relate, I probably said this like a million times, but yeah, comment down below. It helps this channel tremendously. Also hit the like button since you're here and also subscribe if it's your first time on this channel. All right. If it's your first time here on this channel, my name is Jeff Kidding. I make videos in regards to no fab entrepreneurism, just life stuff that is relatable to you guys and hopefully makes your life a little better than what you think it is. <laughs> Thanks again, but yeah, thanks again for tuning in friends. I hope I see you guys in the next video Remember whatever trials you are going through. It's all uphill from here So yeah, thanks again. I hope I see you guys in the next one as always God bless you and have the blessed day ever